Hello guys and welcome to another video, today we will be visiting the city that's always in the background of my videos and seeing what cool stuff might be there. Today we will find out what we need to do in order to accomplish that, alright. Alright cut to the gameplay footage now. Alright so, to get to the city, there are multiple steps, the first of which includes obtaining a vehicle, that should be easy as the car store is just a short walk away, and after that, we need to walk through the city entrance tunnel which should lead to a portal, that will take us immediately to the city and our adventure is complete. Alright let's go to the car store, they'll have exactly what we need, it's just a short walk up this hill from here. This place looks familiar, have we been here before? And the sign seems to have been suspiciously covered up on one part with replacement text above. This is probably just a coincidence every building in this map feels the same after a while. Hello and welcome to the conveniently placed car store, where all of our cars were obtained completely legitimately, and were definitely not stolen from impound lots. Also make sure to check out the monster truck out back, it was gifted to us by Florida Man. Thanks car store man, I will take a look around. This car looks familiar, it's like it's the car from my profile picture and banner or something, this could potentially work, however someone will probably try to steal it and then careen off a cliff in a failed rally attempt while joyriding, so honestly I'll give it a pass. Next. Haha <laughs> funny Top Gear reference, except actually it's the wrong Dacia because I couldn't find a good Dacia Sandero mod to do the reference correctly. A real shame. This car could also work, but who in their right mind would want to be seen driving this? It's literally a cheap French car that the majority of people watching this probably don't recognize. Next. This car would be perfect for what I need, however it is absurdly overpriced because idiot retards think that this car is God itself. Literally all they did was watch the film Fast and the Furious 1 from 2001 and then started worshipping it so there's no way that anybody could ever afford it now, damn it now I'm depressed, next. This is literally perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for, not only is it a low detail SUV with crappy textures which means nobody will want to steal it, but it's just good enough that it will perfectly suit our needs. Let's get this one. Alright car store man, I would like to buy the low poly SUV please. But did you check out the monster truck out back, it's really cool I promise. Oh crap that's right. I'll go check that out then. Holy crap that is the awesomest thing I've ever seen since I saw my channel get more than one subscriber. Now this is what I should get. However it's more pricey than the other car. I should check how much money I have before I get it, let's see how much money I have. God damn his pots of butt farts. The text on the top right of the screen says I don't have enough money. I guess I'll just go get the SUV instead. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Alright car store man. I'll just buy the SUV. One transaction later. Alright we have obtained the car. Now we need to get to the city itself, to do that we will need to walk through the city access tunnel which is also a short walk away. Let's go. This must be one of those Burning Man festivals that I always hear about. Haha <laughs> <laughs> laughing out loud I'm funny. Okay the tunnel entrance is very close now, let's get over there. Wait why is there a force field blocking the entrance, damn it they must have sealed it off for some reason, can't think of why. However we need to know what kind of force field it is, is it one that blocks passage or one that instantly vaporizes and kills you, the only way to tell is by running into it. However I'm not doing that, I'll just use this guy who was definitely standing here the entire time instead. That doesn't really sound like a good idea dude, couldn't you just use something else? No, now come over here and test the force field for me. Oh. 
that means it must be an idiot prevention field considering he didn't make it, haha <laughs> the funny stupid joke, anyway I can't get through this field myself as I also am somewhat of a retard. The only option is to go to the power station controlling the force field and shut it down manually, although since it's far away I'll just go super speed mode via video editing to get there quickly. Alright there it is. However it's blocked by a wall of neutronium paneling. This might be a problem, however I have a special anti-neutronium device that should do the trick. The blast should have weakened the neutronium. Now we can just take the panels off and get inside. Finally, something actually went right. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're not supposed to be in here. If you shut off the force field, you will certainly meet your doom. Does it look like I care Mr. British accent scientist man? I'm going to turn it off anyway, I need to do it for the three people that watch my videos. Alright the force field should be shut down now, we can return to the tunnel entrance and finally reach the city. Alright here we go into the entrance. Holy crap it's dark as f down there, I had no idea the entrance would be this dark. This is spooking me really hard right now. However we must persevere. The portal is just a short walk away we should be in the city soon at last. There's the portal, it should be as easy as just walking through it and we're in the city instantly. Finally. We finally reached the city after like half the video's runtime. probably I don't know yet, let's take in those beautiful city sights. We should probably go see if the portal is still there so we can go back when we need to. Crap, the portal is gone, we're trapped. We need to find another way out of the city immediately or we're going to die here and that's not how I want to die. I wonder what happened to the car I bought, it doesn't seem to be here. I see I spoke too soon. I should have expected something like that to happen. Let's go check on the car and see if it's damaged from the fall. The car appears to be okay, it just needs to be flipped over, that should be easy to do. However, the car appears to be out of gas, and I have no idea if there is any gas nearby to fill it up with, this could be a significantly massive problem. Oh, I see I spoke too soon yet again, there's the conveniently placed fuel store, let's go there. Why hello there, conveniently placed fuel store man. Welcome to the conveniently placed fuel store. How much fuel do you want to buy? One fuel please. What kind of fuel do you want? Regular? Diesel? Jet? Or metabolic? I'll get the regular fuel. Okay, that will be five money. Sure thing, thanks. Thanks, and have fun. Thanks fuel store man. Alright now we got the fuel, we can refuel the car now, that should be easy as Gary's mod doesn't even have a refueling system so I'll just throw it against the car. Alright that was easy, however before we hit the road, we gotta get information on how to get out of this place or else we'll just be blindly wandering around for like a thousand years, and that's no fun is it? Word on the street is, that the random people hanging out in the alleys around here have all the info we could possibly need about the city, and how to escape as well. Let's go ask one of them. Hey look there's a guy right there. Hello sir, do you know how to get out of this place? Well that was a horrific mistake that I shall not repeat again, let's go ask someone else instead. Hello, do you know how to get out of here? What the fu- What is this? 
Everyone explodes town. Oh. I spoke too soon again. What a massive surprise. There is only one person left to try, however they're far away from here, so I'll just bring the SUV over here so we can drive to his location, hopefully he isn't as much of a weirdo as the last two. Alright here we go, this will be the first time driving the car since the video started like 10 minutes ago, holy crap I'm bad at pasting videos, but never mind that let's get over there. Man this car is slow. I wish it was faster but I'm not going to do a bunch of street races to gradually unlock car upgrades so I can be the final boss racer at the end, but there's gotta be another way to make it faster. Alright there's the place, there should be the guy we're looking for in that building, maybe he can actually help us instead of exploding for no freaking reason, fingers crossed. Alright let's go in and talk to him, hopefully this goes better than last time. Hi there, can you actually give me advice on how to leave this place and not explode like the past two guys please? Hello there. I noticed you tried to talk to those other dudes, just ignore them, they're retards. If you want actual advice on how to get out of here, I unfortunately won't be of any use. However, I have an informant near the industrial district that knows the answer to your question, also I noticed your car is pretty slow. Lucky for you, I have a rocket booster over there, put it on your car to go faster, although that one is pretty weak, you'll have to visit Crazy Joe's Crazy Junkyard, that old bastard should have plenty of them. Thanks Random City Man, I'll go pay those two people a visit. Bye. Okay there's the booster he mentioned, let's take that, and install it on the car. Hopefully despite its weakness we should be able to go faster than before. Really hoping on this one. Alright it's installed. Now we need to go to Crazy Joe's Crazy Junkyard to get more. Maybe then we'll have enough thrust in order to go properly fast. Now let's test the rocket boosters. Alright these have some power, but it's not enough. We need more and that's exactly why we're going to the junkyard. Let's get there normally I still need to steer and stuff. Now, it is time to enter the junkyard. We gotta walk to the entrance first however. Alright there's the entrance. Let's go pay a visit. Man this place is a dump, and it smells like butt farts from a fart butt. Hopefully we can get out of here as soon as possible. Hello there, Crazy Joe. Hello there human, I am Crazy Joe, have you appeared to gaze upon my products? I have many things if you have the coin, or if you want, you could give me some nice people to spend time with, if you catch my drift wink wink. What the hell? No you creep, screw you. Alright he's probably dead, let's just take the thrusters and get out of here as fast as possible, the butt fart smell is driving me insane. Alright now they're installed, let's try them out now.
Holy crap that's way too powerful Jesus Christ it's too much turn it off now oh my god we're literally hurtling into the stratosphere we need to stop flying now we're plummeting back down to the earth oh my god oh. Man, I love just randomly standing in the canals, it's so much fun, and the best part is, I don't get crushed by vehicles randomly falling from the sky. Man, that was a nasty crash, good thing we made it out completely unscathed without any fatal injuries whatsoever. Let's not do that again. Also did we hit someone when we landed? Oh. It was just some random idiot never mind no use in caring about it let's just move on and get to where we need to go. Alright the car is flipped over, let's go to the informant's location, without using the jet boosters that time. Alright let's get over there finally. Crap I accidentally pressed the thruster button, now we're spinning out of control, great. Finally after the entire video's runtime so far, we finally have reached the informant. Let's get inside and figure out how to leave this place after 16 minutes of video. Jesus Christ this video is way too long. Hello, do you know how to get out of here? Hello. You must have been sent by that one guy. It's time to tell you how to get out of here. The city doesn't want you to know this, but there's a secret exit tunnel in the spillways that leads right back to where you came from, but it's inaccessible because of a barricade. The only way through the barricade is with a Ditronium laser cutter, however the only place that you can obtain the laser cutter and an ample supply of Ditronium is in the mysterious facility in the industrial district. I don't know what they do over there, but they constantly ship Neutronium to the plant in order to create Ditronium. Ditronium is radioactively enriched Neutronium, they must create it there for whatever mysterious purposes they need it for. The facility is surrounded by toxic waste and you can only access it through a maintenance exit, however you'd need to cross the toxic waste first, and that's incredibly dangerous. Best of luck to you my friend. Thanks informant man, alright let's get out of here we need to get to that facility as soon as possible no matter the stakes, that in this video really needs to be finished already holy crap I'm bad at pacing my video editing process. Alright we're here at the facility's toxic waste pit, to cross the toxic waste, we'll need to platform on this conveniently placed line of discarded toilets that leads directly to the entrance. There's the entrance, let's go inside and hope there's no wacky random encounters this time. Oh wow, I spoke too soon, that definitely hasn't happened a thousand times by now. Who are you anyway? Hello, I am the guy who hangs out in the toxic waste. If the waste is toxic, why do you hang out in here? How are you not dead already? For some unexplained reason, 
I am completely immune to the toxic waste, so I just live here. I like it in here though, it's good for my pores. That's extremely weird, can you go back into the waste now? Sure thing bro. Alright now that he's gone away, it's time to resume sneaking through the facility to find the necessary items. Oh, oh crap there's some guards right there, however I know how to deal with them, I watched enough action movies to know you need a silenced assault rifle to execute them. Alright I got them, the Ditronium should be in this room. There it is. Now we need to get the laser cutter itself, we should keep moving in case more guards come. Oh crap more guards, and they look serious, however we have badass guns from the hit 2011 video game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, this should be a total piece of cake. The laser cutter should be in that room downstairs, there's probably gonna be some guards down there so get ready for a fight. There's a lot of guys down here, but the previous guys weren't a challenge, these guys should be easy to take down haha <laughs> I'm a total badass. That was easy just as I suspected, and there's the laser cutter, let's take it and leave this place, we got all we need to get out of here. Alright let's just head out through this exit here. Oh my god. This is exactly what I feared would happen. Every single guard in the entirety of the city has closed in on our position, literally an entire army of well-equipped guards with batons making it impossible to leave without a fight. This is going to get seriously ugly. Oh my god there's too many of them, not even my Call of Duty guns are enough to survive this onslaught, I don't think we're gonna make it out of here alive it's too much for me to handle oh god oh crap we're screwed guys but let's make one final stand anyway and take out as many as we can. There is no way I can't make it out of this alive, I'm trying my best but there's too many of them, how could we possibly survive this? There's no hope of survival in an event like this, we're screwed. Wait, this is Gary's mod. I can do whatever I want to destroy my enemies, limitations do not exist. Alright you guard idiots how do you like vaporizer tool haha <laughs> take that you imbeciles I can disintegrate you it will feel my power mortals I am a god and I cannot be stopped take that morons haha <laughs> this power is amazing I could get used to this power before me you blithering idiots you don't stand a chance take that and that and this and that haha <laughs> ha. I can feel the power of Gary's mod coursing through my veins. Alright now it's time for a real special move let's get over to the car, this will get very messy very fast I am a complete and total badass. Feel me in my wheels you mortals you cannot stop me and my vehicular power get dumped on haha ha. I feel even more powerful with this Nissan Pathfinder of ultimate carnage and destruction haha ha. ha. Crap, my 
my car got stuck, but no matter I still have my tool gun of infinite death and destruction to rid the universe of these morons take this and that and that and this and some explosions feel the explosive power of Gary's mod you cannot stop me I am the most powerful being. that was the last of them I think, I got way too carried away with that, sorry guys the power got to my head and made me feel like a god, however it got us out of that predicament, and now we can go to the barricade and get back home. Actually hold up, I think there's one last guy. Alright now that's the last of them. Finally, out of that prolonged action scene at last. Let's go to the barricade now. Man those doctors sure revived me fast. And I even get to stand in the canals again, although they said to be more careful, so I made this cool cardboard box fort that should absolutely keep me safe. Alright we crash landed again, oh well we just freaking killed that guy again, nothing to really get upset over, and there's the barricade, we can burn through it using the Ditronium laser cutter now. Alright the barricade has been burnt through, however we gotta wait for the fire to burn itself out before we can walk through it. This may take a while. <laughs> we can finally walk through it and get back home, I have been waiting for this moment for like 28 minutes and 30 something seconds, let's finally return home. Oh my god you're back. It feels so nice to see all the familiar locations again, that adventure was way too long and overextended and I'm finally back where I belong, it feels so nice. Alright that's the end of the video, like comment and subscribe. This will be the last video of the year because I spent the majority of December working on this pile of crap and I don't feel like making videos for a long while, okay bye. Okay guys before the video actually ends, I would like to give a personal thanks to every important person I know as my way to celebrate the end of the year. First off I would like to thank Sadboy slash without the LC for his detailed analysis and critique of my videos which have helped me improve my videos, so shout out to him. I would also like to thank a lot of my close friends on Discord who have been the main audience and support behind my videos, all their names will be on the left side of the screen, thank you guys for supporting me and my weird videos, it means a whole lot and I appreciate it. I would also like to thank my family for keeping me sane and alive during the butt fart year that was 2021, as well as watching my videos and encouraging me to make more of them, it's well appreciated and I'm grateful for it. Okay I'm sorry if that got too sappy, but I figured it needed to be said. Thank you to everyone mentioned earlier, and let's cut to the outro now.